All right, I'd be disappointed too. I don't got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in Funko Pop form. I got him in action figure in cartoon form. Are you going to forgive me for that? Hello, Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans. My name is Chris. We have here our first look poster and teaser for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot that we're set to get in 2021. What I'm going to be doing here for you guys is breaking down this first look as long as what you can expect to see from the movie, whether you should be excited or a little worried. But I mainly want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about this first look? Are you liking the design they're going for with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Because he seems to look different every other iteration. And let me know what you guys are most looking forward to from this movie right here. All right, so we were able to get our first look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot that we're set to get in 2021 because they went ahead and launched a website for the movie that is also in partnership with Call of Duty. Thank you, Call of Duty bros. Bringing us some news in the spook your mama season. I appreciate y'all. But on a serious note, it makes me like, oh dang, I need to jump back onto Call of Duty right here. Not only did they bring Leatherface to it, but they also have Jigsaw, or I should say Billy the Puppy attached to it as well. I'm really curious how that type of gameplay works out. But with this collaboration of Call of Duty, Legendary Pictures went ahead and launched the website for the new movie. The URL is just Texas Chainsaw. Once you go to that website, it'll take you to some text. It says, reveal the face of madness, turn on your your sound and well I'm just gonna play here for you guys But breaking down this teaser a little bit more, once you get into the website and proceed to go in with the sound on, if you're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan, you know that sound very well. It was used in the first ever trailer for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and is even used in other trailers for the upcoming remakes and sequels. And this first poster and look kind of confirms a lot that we didn't know about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. For one here, the text that reads is, In 1974, the world witnessed one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. In 2021, the face of madness returned turns kind of confirming to us what we've seen that this movie is taking that halloween 2018 approach where it's a direct sequel to the very first texas chainsaw massacre even though that has literally already been done in the texas chainsaw massacre world does everybody forget texas chainsaw 3d because I would like to forget that one. If you're still unfamiliar with this reboot, this is the story that we have right now for what we can expect to see in it. The story of the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot looks to follow two sisters currently listed as Melody and Driama. The older sister Melody is 25 years old, San Francisco moneymaker, who drags her younger teenage sister with her to Texas on a business trip out of fear of leaving her alone in the city. It's also worth pointing out that one of these sisters will be wheelchair bound as an homage to the very first Texas Chainsaw where we had a wheelchair bound character the thing i just continue to stare at here is just the look of what this texas chainsaw massacre is going to be looking like because like i was telling you guys at the beginning of the video they changed the look quite a lot for leatherface take some liberties with it and this look right here i can't tell if this is someone's face ripped off that is being put on leatherface or if this is the new deformity of what our leatherface is going to be looking like but i gotta admit i'm loving the creepy vibes that are coming off of this i also wonder if that's the official title they're going with the face of madness because that seems Seems to be the tagline they're going with for this new reboot, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Face of Madness. Also, what's a very nice creepy touch is if you just continue staring at the website as it's flickering, you will start to see the eyes of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre pop up. I'm loving those little attentions to details. We know Leatherface has also been known to put some makeup on his face and explore the world that way. I wonder some of the painting colors we have on him here, the yellow, the red, some of the blue, will that actually go into his new mask or is that just made for this promotional poster? But okay, like I was telling you guys, even though this stuff is exciting and I'm really looking forward to it we still have one hiccup that this movie went through that kind of is scaring me there was a slight issue in making this movie and no it had nothing to do with the pandemic what happened is after a week's worth of filming this film the studio went ahead and looked at that footage and saw what was being made and they let the current directors of the movie go hiring a new director entirely and starting back to day one that right there has got to give us a little hesitancy that they were filming this movie and whatever they had
had written on the script just didn't seem to translate well onto film, so much so that they had to hire a new director thinking it was the directors who were causing the problem. I'm still gonna keep my hopes up and be open-minded to this, but that right there was something that worried me. Other than that, I am liking the cast, especially the girl who was in eighth grade. I really like that film, so I'm excited to see her play one of the characters being chased by Leatherface. But I mainly wanna hear from you guys with this first look teaser and the little creepy music and aesthetic that is going on. How do you feel about this Texas Chainsaw Massacre reboot? Are they headed in a good direction or do you think there could have been something better? Anything and everything, you guys go ahead and leave me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.